Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest stars as the compassionate and handsome Dr. Floyd Reynolds on the NBC medical drama New Amsterdam. And Rashawn and Trina recently caught up with him, so let's take a look. So here's the damaged area of your heart. Now, there are two options. We can tuck an internal defibrillator just under your skin to shock the heart back into normal rhythm when it goes out of control. Or we could perform surgery and take out the part of your heart that's causing the problem. I was fine this morning. Now you want to cut into me? Look, I'm a single father with a daughter to take care of. Who's going to take care of me after open heart surgery? Might be another option. Wow, we just saw a clip from New Amsterdam. Yes. Well, the last time you were here, the, the show was just starting. Yep. And now you found your audience. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about the, the success. Yeah, thank God for that. This is awesome. This is the best network on television. Yeah. I've always, I had not done, I worked for 17 years, hadn't even done a co-star or a guest star on NBC. It just wow. eluded me for all this time. And now here I am with the best job I've ever had. Yeah. The best network. It's just fantastic. Wow. And how has your life changed from then to now? It's great. This is the, the show I get recognized the most for. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's fantastic. Thank God no one has come up to me and asked me for some <laughs> medical advice. <laughs> they, they're not going to make they're it. They're not going to get it. Right, I'm, right. I'm faking. <laughs> you know, well, in this show, you guys guys ta tackle so many different issues, particularly pertaining to the African-American yeah. community. How important is that for us to see that played out on television? First of all, I'm so thankful that, that they are. You know, the writer's room uh, is, is very diverse, and that's where it all starts. So I was happy that so from the first episode, our creator, David Schuldner, said, you know, you're going to tell your uh, counterpart on the show, Jenna Montgomery, that you're not going to date her seriously because she's not black. And I'm like, you sure you want to say that? Right, right, so right. So we tackle all of these issues, especially the issues with health, and it's very important for us to see. Because, you know, black folk, we, we just tend to, we, we're a little different when it comes to health, especially I mean, men. Yeah. You know, we don't do right. Our leg got to be falling off. <laughs> Man. We, we understand we still call a friend. Your leg of a fellow <laughs> playing right? basketball? Right. Why, why do you think that is? Why do you think it's so difficult for African-American males to, to go to the doctor? Why do we have to drag you screaming and hollering? Yeah, I think uh, it stems from a couple of things. Uh, first of all, as as uh, my character mentions in that particular episode, you know, we have a history as black folk of not trusting people with those white coats mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. You know, we have the Tuskegee experiment back yes. in that, Henry Lacks, and, and so we have to overcome those fears and work PTSD, together. PTSD, really? People. Yeah, we have yeah. PTSD. And then as men, you know, we just, I, 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 think, I think deep down we're scared. We don't want any bad news. We don't want, we're not, uh, you know, we, we just don't take care of ourselves like as much as women do. And, and that's something that definitely needs to change in our community. Yeah. Sometimes it seems like your hospital is the barbershop. Mm -hmm. You guys talk about everything. Oh, absolutely. And you never share it with us. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's sacred. It's a it's sacred, sacred environment. Right. Um, but it's fun. You know, being in a barbershop is always fun. You can talk, obviously, everything from, from sports to religion. And you mm -hmm. can get very heated. But at the end of the day, you know, you. You pay your barber and make sure you get that line right. Right. Get up out of there, get your little word for the day. Boom, yes. right. Word of the day, your line right, and your line is tight right yeah, now. It so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. You know, we always stalk people's Instagrams when we come okay. here. And we stalked your Instagram, and you had a, uh -oh. a picture with, a, you know, a group of your friends saying, guys, night out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, you know, talk to us about, you know, J.D. Washington uh -huh. right there, the man star of the ballers. And, yes. And Ryan Eggold, uh, I think I know him. He's, he's my co-star. Yes, you, know, you think you know him, right. Yeah, that was a fun night and this is it's, it's fun the camaraderie especially when you know you get to be amongst your peers right and, you, and you're in your great company that was the first night I actually met JD and uh, he was just a great great dude but it's funny when you live if you ever met him if you listen oh yeah to him, well, I've interviewed him he sounds, he sounds just like, like his dad. I so know. I'm just yes. sitting here and after a while I'm like say it again bro right right I'm I ain't like, get you know, it I ain't yeah, get it yeah. but what about the support system of, of your of your males of your friends or your, or your, or your brothers? It's crucial. Yeah. yeah it's 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 crucial you know from like I said, from just like the barbershop, from everything from, let me, you know, guys, we, we talk about very mundane, stupid stuff right. as well. But when we go deep, you know, and every now and then, you know, if you got to cry with your brother on the phone, man, you, you, you got to do it. It's important. But that support system is crucial for, for our peace of mind and, mm -hmm. and understanding and sharing the things that you're experiencing in life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you're, you're also no stranger to the big screen. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dream Girls, Jarhead, mm -hmm. Planet of the Apes, dot, 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 dot. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, but what, are, what other projects are in the works for you? Oh, actually, you know, I want to produce and write and direct more, and um, I'm in the process of, of producing a, a political uh, a movie that I won't get into yet. Yes. We'll see how that goes. 
and then also a comedy that that I would be playing in as well. So okay. we're excited about that stuff. We're excited about that. All right, well, we're not ready to let you go yet. So we're okay. going to be right back with more Jackass. Yes. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, he's fine or whatever, but when we return, we'll have more of our interview <laughs> with New Amsterdam's Jocko Sims. <laughs> That's a nice looking man. He is. He's in Morehouse grad, too. Oh. We are back on Sister Circle Live, and here is more of Rashawn and Trina's interview with Jocko Sims. Take a look. Continuing our stalkage of your Instagram page, we saw you did the 10 year challenge. Oh, yeah. And uh, we have to say, you're looking real good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, yeah. now. Oh, yeah, I like the grown man. Yeah. Whole lot, whole lot still intact. That's right there. That's good. That. Look at that. That's, yeah. my, that's my mom's favorite pick. I got that Marlon hair, hair, Marlon Wayans hair from yeah. the 90s. Yeah, she likes your hair more like that? Yeah, she liked that. That's, that's, her, that's her baby. Go wrong with either one of them. Yeah, you look real good, brother. Okay, hey, Smitty. All I right. I got to come hey, in more often. All right, it's time to play a game. It definitely is. Those pictures made our temperature rise. So, <laughs> we're going to play a game called Love Sick, where we'll show you some pictures and you tell us if it makes your temperature Hot or not. Hot All right. Not? All right. Okay, He's like nice. He's yeah, y'all gonna nice try guy. to get me in trouble. I know. Okay, I know. Okay. All right. Let's see who we have. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is Zoe, Zoe Kravitz. Okay, Zoe. So let's see. I give a shout out to Zoe because she wanted to play Catwoman and the Batman a few years ago, but now she made it happen. They right. weren't seeing people of color before, so that makes yeah, you hot. Yeah. Girl. She's hot. Definitely hot. She's, She's hot to so play beautiful. Catwoman. She's right. gorgeous. All right, who do we have next? Uh-uh, so that Issa, is that's Issa, Issa Rae. Ray. That's Issa Rae, yeah, yes. okay, cool. Issa Rae, yeah, she's uh, self-made, did her own show. You know, she writes, she directs, produce. I appreciate it, she's a beautiful woman. Yes, she's she is, she's, she's gorgeous. gorgeous. She's gorgeous, Absolutely. let's see. All right, a couple more. Mm. Hey, oh, Stacey Dash. Stacey Dash. Uh, Stacey Dash, I had a crush on forever, <laughs> Clueless. Everybody. And then uh, she, she worked on Fox News, so I'm gonna give her a knot. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a knot for that, Stacey. Come on back, come on home, and we get you back. Come on back home. All right. All right. Tiffany Haddish, we'll take you back to the Tiffany Haddish, she's a friend of mine. She's a superwoman. She's very talented mm -hmm. and one of the funniest people I've ever seen in my life. That definitely makes her happy. Yes. All right, who is next? This is Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion. Megan, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna comment on that. I'm You're not gonna comment just... on Megan Thee Stallion? Okay, that's all you got. Yes, yeah, yeah, we'll give him one more. We'll give him one more. Yes. Give Two, one, more. one more? Oh, Wendy. Yes. Wendy Williams. See, I know better than to mess with Wendy. You better not. You better I know not. better. You better give her a hot. Listen, for all that she's gone through, yes. to be able to, you know, persevere and come back even better and stronger and more beautiful than ever, you hot with That's yes. why, Wendy. Yes. How you doing? That's what I do. How you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. You're an amazing man. Oh, thank you. And you look good. Oh, and man. And you're talented. I need to come back here more often. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so welcome. much. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Continue success on New Amsterdam and everything you have going on. Awesome. Let's give it up for the amazing Jocko Sam. Oh, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Like a strong <laughs> man, ain't it? Yeah, I like him strong. <laughs> <laughs> Jocko Sims is uh, definitely incredibly talented, just yeah. like we said. So it's a beautiful thing. I just love how he under honor, honored each woman yes. that you guys kind of put up yeah. on the screen. Yeah. It, was, it was so kind of him yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah. With uh, what's the girl's name? The Stacey Dash. Stacey Dash. Stacey Dash. Yeah. I wish well, Clueless should, should, should be a new name. That's great, yeah. Selena. She was in Clueless because she's Clueless. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm mad that she uh, went to the other side like that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It just happens. It just happens. We lose a lot of them. <laughs> I traded her for Justin Timberlake. Long time ago? Months ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think last year. Right, right. Well, be sure to catch New Amsterdam <laughs> on NBC Tuesday night. Oh and, of my. course, the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. We have a good time. Yes, Please go to yes. our Instagram, our YouTube, our Facebook page. We're very interactive. Very circle. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. Now wait a minute, you traded for who? Justin, Justin Timberlake. How long ago? About a couple years ago. Oh, a couple years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple years ago. A couple years ago. <laughs> it actually wasn't mine too. A couple years ago. A couple years ago. Yeah, we did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. 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 special. He, he showed up there. And she did. After his <laughs> HBO special, I said, you know what? You can go and have her. Right. <laughs> Take Stacey Dash. All the way. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs>